Uh, tonight, Buffalo Public Schools are also facing some heat over just how they communicated to parents, guardians of students who are at McKinley when all of this happened. Seven News senior reporter Eileen Buckley says those who were gathered outside of the school here last night were begging for information. Did they say anything about you leaving? No, not yet. A McKinley High School father on the phone with his son, who was among the 100 students still inside the school Wednesday night. Mikhail Hall tells me it was a terrifying experience. I spoke to a teacher that was with him. She was terrified. So I know my son was upset because they said they had to be quiet and they had to wait for the SWAT team to come in, the, in there and, and take care of things. It was. It's, it's nasty. Hall and other parents say they were extremely upset because the Buffalo School District was not giving them any information. But during this news conference at the scene Wednesday night, District Superintendent Dr. Kreiner Cash responded to those concerns. We got the message out as soon as we could, as soon as we had cogent details. But parents did not receive any notifications until this email arrived after 8 Wednesday night hours after the incident. What goes through your mind as a Buffalo school parent when you hear something like this and your child now involved waiting inside to be released? I never thought this could happen. Until they're in your arms and in your house, it's just, just absolutely gut-wrenching. District Parent Coordinating Council President Wendy Mastretta says her organization does not have a parent representative from McKinley, which made it difficult to provide support for those families. Having a school rep is part of a district policy that Mastretta says is not working. There should be 60 schools with representatives that are meeting, and I think 19 schools handed in their leadership forms, and, and maybe half of those have our reps. This is a moment where folks just want to be heard. They want to be listened to. As a parent of two children, I'd, I'd want to, you know, express my frustrations. Late Thursday afternoon, we, the parents of Western New York, hosted a live podcast to discuss the McKinley attack with Dr. Dia Bryant of Education Trust New York. But I think there's something that the board and um, Dr. Cash can do in this moment, and they can reassure the community that they're going to sort of be here, that they're going to listen, and they're, they're going to act on behalf of what parents and families need right now. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.